I think one thing at the back of uh, Hunter's mind will be his world semi-final at the Crucible last spring. He led Ken Doherty 15-9 going into the final session. But Doherty won eight frames out of nine in that session to beat him 17-16. And it's a terrible feeling when you've got a big lead and uh, gradually it's eroded. And uh, as I said, I think that the initiative is with King. But we've talked about Paul Hunter in the past and we Take your seats as say as you can, please. one of his big qualities the is his temperament. Frame. Mark King to break. Here we go then. Good length of the cue ball. That red that has been left out so many times for the right corner. But uh, well, this is not easy. I don't think he's even going to take it on, is he? He is. Got a good white, though. Hunter missed uh, a couple of balls when he had that uh, big lead of 7-4. One in the next frame, one in the one after. And uh, in fact, from 7-4 to 7 all, he scored only 20 points. And it wasn't as if King was scoring heavily, but he was scoring consistently in bits and pieces. There was one stage in the match where Paul hadn't potted the ball for nearly half an hour. But and I suppose Mark, if we talked about the uh, his highest break was a break of 63, but uh, he's coming good at the right time. He's had breaks of 57, 40, and 52 in the last three frames. King's already won one nine eight in this uh, UK championship, and David Gray, the world number 12, nine eight, before the cameras came here. And he didn't get the white on the cushion as he intended, and it's amazing the number of final frames where the balls go up the other end of the table. Two reds up there, so it's gonna be one of those Funny old frames. There's a possible pot on here, though. I think he had a little bit of safety in mind, also. Didn't expect to pot it. If it had dropped in, all he could have done was to have rolled to the black. Now this is not easy because the ball tends to bounce when you've got the butt of the cue in the air that high. Uh, we've got four reds up the other end of the table. So it's all gonna get very tense. shot I don't think he can play the shot that he played previously although he's not tight on the cushion he can't really get the white back this time touching ball would be nice for Mark here touching ball and referee Paul Collier announcing touching ball. So he can just play off the side cushion and back in behind the black. Keeping the white as close to the cushion as possible. Now 
what's Paul looking at here? Yeah, that, that last shot that Mark played, Clive, he, he, he put himself in trouble there, didn't he? Didn't get the cue ball close enough to the cushion. How far up is the red coming? There just might be a little bit of value in taking that red that come back up the table because uh, he could get onto the black and he might not leave a great deal. It's, it's a bit of a risk, but uh, that's what he's thinking about. See where he's got the tip of his cue? He's thinking if I left the white there, would I leave anything? <laughs> if I had a go at this long red, but... Uh, Going for the one, not to the middle pocket. He's not. Safety was the priority there. Now, what have we got? Three, five, seven reds up the other end of the table at the moment. Another one, eight, but I think <coughs> I'll, I was just about to say I think that Paul can get through to the red up the other end of the table, but he can't. <coughs> oh, it's getting tougher to get that white back. Almost seven minutes gone in this deciding frame, but you can't say it's dull because uh, the air is thick with tension. And both players jockeying for an opening. Well, he could see enough of it. I didn't think he could see enough of that red. One. Well, what a pot. He decided, I'm going to have a go at this. It was a thin contact, but where the white was made it even more difficult. Three. That really was something Four. special there. Paul knew he couldn't get the white back. He was almost tight in the cushion. Fantastic queuing. The extended bout of safety has spread the reds. Hunter knows 16. there's a chance to win this deciding frame at this visit. 17. Mark King would have been 22. You know, rather surprised at the pot that Paul pulled off there. He thought he'd got him in quite a bit of trouble. And it really was something a bit special, the red that he knocked in. This is the sign of a true champion, Clive, when the, the pressure's really on. It's the champions that respond to it. Yes, and the key is to play this break as he normally would, without thinking too much about the significance of it. Just let the white run a bit 
far there. He had a choice of the red to the middle and the one to the corner. And the fact that the white's gone that little bit further than he intended has made it difficult now for himself. <coughs> That's where he wanted to be with the previous shot and he would have had an easy red to the corner or an easy red to the middle. Now it's a bit more difficult. Bit of a pressure pot, this one. Mm, he didn't fancy that one. Paul Hunter, 37. He knew that he should have been on something easier. <laughs> but the way he played the shot, he was on the blue and he knew he wasn't going to leave anything easy. This is a chance, but it's not a gimme under these circumstances. He's got to take it on, though. Big shot for Mark King, this. Now, the longer he takes over it, the more difficult it'll become. the previous shot with the rest and the blues a little bit awkward for the queuing here just a bit of a distraction when you're playing this shot <laughs> that's not perfect one <laughs> he knew that he was Cannoning into that cluster as well. Another tester. He's up to it. He's pretty good under pressure. But still not <coughs> safe by any means Six. yet. Seven. Now he's a strong favourite. He's made three centuries in this match, uh, Clive. And he's missed uh, quite a few shots 14. as well. So it's been a bit of a mixed bag from Paul Hunter. Mark King, as I said, came on very strong from 7-4 down. I also think that uh, Hunter lost his concentration a little in those frames. Great recovery it was by King to win four frames out of five to go from 7-4 down to 8 all. Guaranteed good position on a red from here. Uh, how's the judgment? I think this is 22. a thin one. He's coming around to have a look at the angle. 59 in front. He's a very thin snick here. Well, it's not over yet. Oh, has he potted it? Look at this shot. Can you believe it? 23. Can you believe that? That's as good a trick shot as you'll ever see. Have a look at this. Unbelievable. Incredible, that. King took it well. That's made such a difference, you know, because Mark would have had a chance to get back into this frame. Okay, Paul's not on the colour, but... That has made such a difference. Pink safe. If he can get another color safe, what a mountain to climb. And he's still got that little smile there. He's a, he's a bit of a character, is Mark King. 
my slad, he loves his game of snooker. And when he talked about retiring after the World Championship, I didn't think he really meant it, Clive. He loves the game too much. Blue ball. Didn't take, you, didn't take your advice to put another colour safe, Dennis. Hunter leads by 60, with only 67 on the table. It really is uh, a mountain to climb, and Paul knows all too well the way the balls are situated here. He just couldn't believe there's, there's any way he could lose this frame now. Just doing a quick calculation, even if Mark could pot five reds and five blues, he, he couldn't win. He's got to somehow get a red and get up onto the black because the pink's out of commission. King knows that his next mistake would almost certainly be his last of the match. This could be the end. One good long red. I think it would be match over. Didn't have to play position, which is why the cue ball has finished where it has. The red alone would have been sufficient to give him the match, barring a snooker. Let's make your mind up time for Mark King. He's had a look at the red into the middle pocket. He would automatically come up on the black. He's not taking that on. He just felt it was too much a risk. He's played a pretty good shot there, though. Although he's pushed the red safe, uh, he was in a bit of bother there. It was still match ball, and Hunter One. has coolly stroked it in. Oh, what a good pot from tight on the cushion almost. Perfect queuing. One snooker required. Bramble. One. The brown would have put King to two snookers needed. He's battled well, has Mark. Every credit to him. Uh, he was 7 4 down, he was 6 3 down. And when it was uh, 7 all, he needed three snookers to tie in the 15th frame and got two of them. That 
that surely is it though. Can't see Hunter missing this. Paul Hunter has played a sterling deciding frame. Apart from losing position on 37 with his first chance, he's played everything about as well as could be expected in the circumstances. I think it's the old Five. word, his experience, isn't it, Mark? The great player that he is hasn't won the tournaments that Paul has won. Six. And there's no substitute for experience, Clive, is there? Nor for temperament. Disappointing for King. Ten. Gave it his best shot. Eleven. But uh, it's going to be Hunter who goes through to the quarterfinals. And let's not forget that he's uh, the highest ranked player left in the top half. Great battle then. Paul Hunter beats Mark King by nine frames to eight.